one I'm going to throw at you now, okay? So if you get that, you're safe. Debt as a percentage of GDP. Apples to apples comparison throughout time, so here we are. That's what's on this page. We can go back and look at 1800 up until the current time. Now, here's a question for you. If you set the Great Depression off to the side for a moment, what is it that has justified us as a nation to borrow money? Wars. Wars. Okay? Now, I'm looking for a real, a fairly broad response here. When did we generally pay that back? Right after. Okay? That's an important thing to remember. We paid that back. What's that? After we won them. After we won them, yes. <laughs> Good point. Good point. All right. Um, now, that is called um, classical macroeconomics, if you're into uh, term, terminology. But we still got this Great Depression thing, and we justified during the Great Depression that there's another justification for borrowing money. And that's called Keynesian macroeconomics. That comes from the person who thought up the idea, John Maynard Keynes. And what was happening through the Depression is that our economy stabilized with about a 25, 26, 27% unemployment rate. Now, people were getting pretty restless. So in essence, the economy had to be destabilized. It's kind of like you're sitting there in neutral with the engine running, and you've got to pop that clutch and get things going. And so it was his idea, John Maynard Keynes, that the government should be the one to get that thing kick-started again, to destabilize the economy. And so that's where that came from. That's why there's precedence for the government to throw a stimulus package out there, okay? That's, why the, that's where that comes from. All right. Now, the, uh, the point that we're trying to make here is... How do we set a credit card limit for the national debt? Well, there's an important number here that I, I want to point out. You see what level of percent debt as a, uh, debt as a percentage of GDP that we generally drop down below? Every time we kind of get in a war, then we kind of gravitate, getting below the number 50. So if you got a pen, put a circle around the number 50. That's where we generally try to get below. Even after the Cold War, we got down to 57%. But folks, I really don't know. Bill and I have crunched some numbers. Where did Bill go? Oh, um, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get to that again. I don't know. Uh, it would be awful hard. We'd have to be kicking out about a trillion dollars a year paying off some debt right now with the economy, plus get the economy to grow at the same time in the next 10 years to get back to that. It'd be pretty tough. So what do we do to make it, to prevent it from getting completely out of control? If you take and look at the World War II, that's where our all-time record is. And that, if you've got a pen, you can write two numbers there. It's 122% total debt as a percentage of GDP. If you want to use this number of public, uh, debt held by the public, you would use the number 109%. Either one to the same line. So go to your hand, your PowerPoint handout. On the back page, when will we hit the record? What this shows is that in the next 10 or 20 years, we're going to be at that level. So if you're interested and you're here tonight because you want to put a cap on the credit card limit for America, this would be a good thing to look at. This would be a good thing to analyze. Because there is historical precedent to say 122% is it. And we're going to hit that in 10 years. That gives ample time for us to pass this, even potentially if it's a constitutional amendment. And to be able to prepare for it. So that gives you something to talk about in terms of the national front. To really think about how can we kind of get a cap on this whole thing. All right? And then try to live within that budget. All right. We're ready to go on to the movie. Are you ready, Jim? All right. It's 20 after now. This is going to take about 30 minutes. 
Um, as we start the movie, if you need to stand up and just move around for about 30 seconds, you can do that. The movie will take about uh, 30 minutes, and then we're going to get your ideas and open it up to your thoughts and your input, your questions. A couple things that I'll say about the movie, it's a couple years old. So the numbers you're going to see are probably more like 7 or 8 trillion as the debt. All right? Uh, and the bad news is there's no romance. So you're going to have to try and work with us here on this one. And, um, but I promise you that the information will be informative. I will argue that the right. Oh, 